um, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, you're probably thinking, Amy, why are you sat outside in the cold um, on the one week that it uh, is raining? And I'm beginning to wonder that myself. Um, but today I want to talk to you about nature. Um, so just bear that in mind while I'm sat here shivering. Um, but last week, James brought to us uh, from Psalm 119. And he talked about how important it was to keep uh, the Bible in our hearts and to keep God's word in our hearts. And when we're reading the Bible, we can see uh, God's character and God's person through it. But what I wanted to focus on today was how actually we can see God and God's character in the things around us when we just look outside our window. Um, so I wanted to start by looking at um, three characters that sometimes people think God is like. Uh, so the first one is uh, Santa. Now, I'll let you into a little secret. Santa's actually isolating. Oh, you can hear him. He's actually isolating with the cows at the minute. So you're going to come. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so he's not going to show you his face because um, unfortunately he hasn't been to the hairdressers in a while. So he's not looking his best. Um, but they're there, that's Santa. So sometimes people think uh, God is like Santa because, you know, he's a, he's a really nice, lovely, jolly character. And he gives you what you want. Um, but only if you're good. You have to go on your best behaviour. Um, so sometimes God, people think God is like Santa. Another person um, they think God is like is kind of like Darth Vader from Star Wars. Um, I am very aware this is not actually Darth Vader. To those who are sat at home going, Amy, you got it wrong. You've got your Star Wars wrong. I know, I know, I'm sorry. But this is the closest I had. Okay? So just bear with me. But, oh my goodness. I did not know he talked. <laughs> anyway, um, some people think God is like, uh, kind of like Darth Vader because of his power. Um, Darth Vader is, is um, really, really mean, really horrible, and he's got a lot of power and he can make people do what he wants them to do. So some people um, relate God to a character like that because of his, his power. Um, another person, we'll put him down for the minute. Another person, um, that could be linked to God um, are these these guys. These are my friends. Um, this is Spider Man, you can see, and this is Thor. Um, these guys are superheroes, and um, people think God is like a superhero because he comes and he rescues us and he saves the day and he's so great and he's brave and he's got superpowers. Um, so that is another character that could be um, linked to God. But I wanted to tell you about the true character of God and whoops um the true character of god and what he's really like um so i wanted to bring you four um uh, characteristics of god today as we look at those four so my first one is we're looking at god's glory now you might be thinking amy they use the word glory a lot in church but i don't actually know what it means um and don't worry i actually think there's a lot of adults that don't really know and understand what glory means because it's such a hard word um, to come up with a definition for but it, what it really means is kind of um, like beauty uh, and you know we can see God's beauty and as we look around if you can see behind me all the flowers and how they're so beautiful and as people we look at we think of beauty as um, you know you have a have a beautiful face or beautiful clothes or beautiful hair or whatever um, but it's not just the physical things and the outward appearance. God as a whole person is beautiful and he shows that through his creation and all the things he's made from the flowers and the small details in the flowers to even the little creatures that, that um, crawl on the ground. And I know spiders don't seem like the most prettiest of animals, but they're so detailed and there's so much beauty in them as well. Um, and God designed them so um, precisely and carefully. Um, and he did the same thing with us. Now, the second thing to look at is God's power. Now, what I was going to do was I was going to show you, going to take you to see our view from our house. But I'm just going to have to put a picture in because you can't really see anything in a minute because it's all foggy. Um, but out from our house, you can see almost the whole of the city. And it's amazing to see how vast of a place it is. And you can see all the fields off in the distance. Um, and from that, you can see how powerful God is, that God created all of that. Um, he created the whole world. Um, and maybe picture a mountain. Mountains are huge, big things. And God created that. Um, and, because, and that shows us how much power he has. Um, the third thing I wanted to look at was God's goodness and God's love. Um, one 
thing we like to talk about when we, when we think of God's love is how um, God sent his son because he loved us so, so much. And that is such a great one and such a great example of God's love. But actually, we can also see God's love even in looking around us, um, in in the rain, in the sun, in the in the flowers, in the fruits that grow on the trees, in the plants that grow in the ground. Um, you may be thinking, Amy, rain, not not good, not great. I don't like it, and I don't like it either. I hate it. It makes my hair go really frizzy. Um, but actually. If we didn't have the rain, then we couldn't have the plants that grow. We couldn't have the fruit that grows or the vegetables that grow. Um, so God gives us all these things um, because he loves us so, so much. So maybe the next time it's raining, it might be raining right now where you are. I don't know. But the next time it's raining, maybe you can look out your window instead of going, "Ugh, I can't go outside today and I can't go play today. Instead, maybe look outside and think it's raining because God loves me because God's providing for me. And if it, God didn't give us rain, then we wouldn't have the beautiful things that we do. And number four is God's redemption. Um, now you might be thinking that, oh, the floods aren't good and the, the fires aren't good and there's lots of illnesses and disease that aren't good. Um, but God doesn't like to see us suffer. He doesn't like to see us in pain, um, but it's because of the sin in the world. It has destroyed um, the beautiful creation that God made. But God's not just gonna sit back and go, oh well, serves them right. God loves us so much and he's so powerful in his glory um, that God's going to redeem it. And this is God's redemption. He's going to come back and he's going to create a new heaven and a new earth. And he's going to make everything right again. He's going to make everything beautiful. And there'll be no more floods and no more fires and no more illness or sickness or sadness. And everything's going to be perfect again. So I hope that helped. that's helpful. Um, so the four things to remember are God's glory, God's power, God's goodness and God's redemption um, and those things we can see when we look outside our windows so hopefully when you're on your next daily exercise um, you're walking around and you see the trees and the leaves and the grass and the and the birds and the sky um, you'll remember that this is God's um, goodness and his glory and his power and he loves us so much and you have to see God in creation um, so I hope you are all safe and you're all well um, and thanks for listening and we'll see you again next week. Bye.